Here's a full body lengthening and strengthening routine using cable resistance or resistance bands, beginning with lengthening out the lats. Holding on to a handle with one hand, opposite leg forward, same leg back, allow the resistance to pull you, opening up along the rib cage, down into the waist, across the lower back. Feel that open up the shoulder girdle as well. Then on to mid and low back lengthening. I'm going to hold on with both hands. Try to flex through the spine. You can do so by tucking the tailbone under and driving the rib cage back. All of these movements can be done for any amount of time. Your goal is to just feel the tissue open up. And once that's happened, you've achieved the goal. Here you can move in and out of the motion or simply hold and allow the length to occur. Lengthening out the biceps. You're going to hold the handle behind you, internally rotate the arm, and step away forward with the same side arm. And simply turn the head and a little bit of the rib cage away from that arm that's behind you, trying to keep the shoulder in place, not letting it elevate or descend too much. Try to extend through that elbow. Lengthening the pectorals. You'll have a high pulley or a high anchored place. With the arm extended, you're going to work, work on opening up the chest muscles, allowing the arm to be pulled back as you rotate the rib cage and head away. You can rotate the hips and the whole body away from that outstretched arm. The hamstrings, using a, a mid-range or low-range anchored point or cable, you'll have one foot extended forward, flexed at the ankle to extend the knee. Gently pull the sacrum downward, tucking the tailbone to create flexion in the spine while encouraging extension through the knee. Allow yourself to move in and out of this position and feel weight onto that heel that's the forward leg. The loaded squat. Now we get into strengthening. You'll hold on to rope handles at shoulder or chest level, dropping into a squat parallel stance, maintaining an upright posture with the torso, perform several repetitions, achieving some temporary muscle fatigue. Be sure to maintain proper form at all times. The single leg deadlift, you'll need one cable, holding with one hand, the opposite leg standing, hinging at the hip and driving up to a tall posture, reaching back with the non-standing leg as far as possible, and then driving up to a tall posture again. The loaded step up, holding onto two handles, driving them up to about chest or shoulder level. You'll be placing one foot on the box and driving up and down with the resistance pulling you down and slightly back. So you have to drive up and forward. For more intensity, especially along the trunk, an off balance load might be just the thing. Single arm press will use just one handle. Opposite leg forward, maintain a nice tall posture and you'll Rotate around the vertical axis, imagining a straight line down from the top of your head out your tailbone. Allow the rib cage to rotate, drive off the forward and back leg to achieve that extension. The single arm row is very similar. Opposite leg is forward, but now with that rotation of the torso, you'll be drawing the handle toward you rather than pressing away. The motion is almost identical. The force is in the opposite direction. You can also have a lower angle where there's a bit more hip involvement. Just be aware that you're not flexing through your spine, but hinging at the hip to encourage the glute hamstring complex to fire up alongside the upper body. Single arm pull down, you'll be in a low half kneeling or slightly off the ground position with the knee. Your choice, which one's more stable. Extend upward as if you're lengthening out the lats in the first portion of this workout and begin pulling up and down. The low to high rotation takes you from a low anchored place and going up above shoulder or head level. Maintaining that nice vertical axis from the head to the tailbone, try not to lean over or bend sideways. The same holds true for the high to low rotation. Maintain that nice half kneeling position. You can draw the handle toward you and then extend it out as you make that rotation, or you can keep the arms completely extended and come down and across. This will avoid using more of the arms 
and focus on more of the waist or the trunk. Keeping the head still will encourage opening of the neck tissue also. Finally, the plank pull. In a quadruped position, you'll grab one handle and you'll be just drawing it away from the anchor point. Any direction you choose, allowing the body to move alongside. You can change the body's position so that you're pulling underneath and coming across, allowing for some controlled rotation of the shoulder, the spine, and the hips all the way down to the toes. Or you can face away from the anchored point in that plank position and begin drawing in an overhead pressing sort of action. Hope you enjoy it. Check us out for more information at rfcsantacruz.com or call us 831-854-2130.